What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if you like to stay up late like I do and watch TV at night, but your spouse tells you to lower the volume or even turn off the TV, well, this is going to be the best solution for you guys. I got a Bluetooth audio transmitter, and I got a Bluetooth headset. Now, the key to make this all work seamlessly without any kind of audio lag is to get the Ventry APTX low audio latency Bluetooth transmitter and you have to get the APTX low audio latency Bluetooth headset made by Archier. And between these two, once you have them connected, then you're gonna get the best audio quality watching TV or even li listening to your music. The Ventry uh, Bluetooth transmitter actually supports two headsets, which is really awesome. But of course, if you're using one headset, you're gonna get the least amount of audio lag. And uh, with this Archier headset, I would say this is equivalent to, um, the audio quality is equivalent to a Beats Solo 2 wireless headset. And it has all the same features as the Beats uh, Solo 2 headset, where you can plug in your headset, and even when the battery dies, you can plug in your headset uh, using the audio cable, and it'll last you endless hours because it doesn't use the battery. It's a high quality Bluetooth headset that's under $60 and it has a stainless steel band, so it's extremely durable. And you can fold it up and put it in your case and throw it in your book bag. Not, you don't have to worry about it breaking because it's not a plastic piece of junk. And you'll get 14 hours of battery life on this device. All right, so step one is to go ahead and connect all the connections right here. So this micro USB, is for power. Now you can actually unplug it and it does have a battery in here but it, it won't last forever. So I always have it um, powered on using the TV USB port so it stays powered on. Then use the audio cable right here, plug it into aux and then that plugs into your headphone jack on your TV. Now if you don't have a headphone jack on your TV, don't worry, you just have to plug this into another adapter and it's a 3.5 adapter to RCA and then you plug that into the audio output on your TV and then you want to switch it to DC mode so right now it's in DC mode so if you want to switch it to battery mode you just do that okay so we have it in DC mode right now and then the parrot you hold down this button to parrot and you'll see the lights shine right here so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna Plug in my to my headphone jack. This is my audio output, and then you want to connect it to the USB port, so you have power. And then once once the TV's on, then this will power on. This is a little magnet that sticks on to the back right here. All right, and this is magnetic and just stays like that. All right, once the TV is on, you'll notice this light will start to uh, blink. Oh, you can see that. And it's letting you know that it has power. All right, next, you want to go ahead and turn on your headset. Now, this headset you can use for your phone, answer calls, hang up, has a built-in microphone, a micro USB to charge it. Okay, now to connect two headsets, make sure they both have APTX, low audio latency. And let's go ahead and unplug this and hold down this button to enter Bluetooth mode and you'll see the light start to blink. All right, and then I'll rotate blue, red, blue, red. And what you wanna do is hold down the button right here until it rotates red and blue. And then you wanna go ahead and turn it on. And you wanna hold this down until it rotates red and blue. So now they're all rotating red and blue. This one's working. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little longer. If it doesn't respond, you just have to press that button again. But this one just took a little bit longer. And as you can tell, it works up to 25 feet away, and the audio sync is pretty accurate. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you another way to connect your headset to your TV using the Amazon Fire TV stick. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I canceled my cable TV service and I only have internet TV service now. I, I still have internet service through my cable provider, but I dropped the, completely dropped the cable TV service. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like if you guys are interested also. So to turn on my TV using my Amazon Fire TV stick, remote and I just press select and I'll turn on my TV and that's because I have HDMI control feature turned on my TV and that feature also turned on my Amazon Fire TV stick which is a cool feature so not only that it turns on the TV it actually switches the input to the Amazon Fire TV stick input now you want to go hit home button and then go to the settings select down go to Bluetooth devices, hit select, and then you can pair another TV remote, you can pair video game controllers because you can play video games on the Amazon Fire TV stick. But we're gonna pair a Bluetooth headset. So let's go ahead and pair that, hit select, and then select add Bluetooth device, select again, and it's in pairing mode, and then you wanna hold down your power button on your headset, until it rotates red and blue. Now it's in pairing mode. And it should, there it goes. Hit select. And once you pull up your headset, and then once you select on the headset, then it should, there it goes. That pop up. The headset is connected. Yeah, it's working. Cool. So now uh, I have, I, I subscribe to all three services because they're free for the first week. I subscribe to, um, DirecTV Now, which is separate from the satellite service. So if you have DirecTV satellite service, DirecTV Now is completely separate service, by the way. So that's an internet TV service. Uh, PlayStation View is an internet TV service. Um, and then, where is it? Sling TV is also another internet TV service. But this is the cheapest of all of the three. It's uh, $20, uh, 20 or $30 a month and you only stream three devices at the same time and there's no DVR functions as of today and then go over to PlayStation View you can stream actually five devices at the same time which is good for me because I have kids and with DirecTV now you can only stream two devices at the same time so that was kind of a bummer but they were running the best deal 100 channels for $35 a month and you get a free Amazon Fire TV stick so I jumped on that deal and they actually mailed it out fairly quick. I got it within uh, three to four weeks. But I actually canceled the DirecTV Now, even though it's the most user-friendly and has the least amount of lag. So I select, um, I chose PlayStation View because uh, you get quite a, uh, quite a few channels, well, a lot of channels for the least amount of money. Well, the best value and you get more features. And the five streaming was definitely, that's what sold me. I get five devices at the same time you can stream. And if you have a family of five or more, you're going to want that. So I'm going to select living room. And so you guys get, a, you get to see what it looks like. Okay. All right, there it is. And let's so say you change whatever. This is uh, what, what I'm watching right now, right here. Well, I'm not watching. My wife was watching. And then you can hit pause. All right. And then to rewind, you don't use the rewind button here and here. For some reason, they um, they chose to use the navigation pad. So if you want to go back, hit the navigation pad, and then it'll jump back 10 seconds at a time. All right, pause. All right, pause. Pause. There you go. Now to pull up the guide with DirecTV, you just select up, and the guide pulls up quickly. And then... Um, the channels are up and down in alphabetical order, like you know, a regular cable TV box would be. With um, PlayStation View, it's the opposite, and you'll, I'll show you. You have to hold down the menu button right here, and then that pulls up the guide. Hit select, and you'll see the guide. So instead of the channels being up and down, you have the time being you know up and down, and the channels on the top, left and right. So you have to go through the channels left and right. No big deal. You get used to it pretty quick. And you get uh, quite a few channels, so and Disney, Nickelodeon, you know all the traditional channels. So I chose the thirty-five dollar package, and it gives me sports and stuff like that. 
my local sports and some uh, local channels, not all. It depends on what city you live in. They're still trying to collect uh, local TV channels and stations. And the, um, there's no really audio lag that I noticed. If this video was informative, give me a huge thumbs up. So guys, if you're interested in any of these Bluetooth headsets or the transmitter, check out the links in the video description below. If you want to share this video to anyone this video may interest or help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to them. And click on this link right here to subscribe for more how-to videos coming your way. And check out these uh, videos for more how-to videos that may interest you guys.